good hair was always seen like, you know, the, the straighter hair and the more kind of like white hair. And then bad hair was like the kinkier. I say that our hair is our crown. And, you know, we should just wear our crowns and be proud of our crowns. It's the extension of our, it's a, the extension of us. Black Hair Independence Day is an unofficial holiday celebrated in the United States on July 3rd. It marks the inauguration of an act signed into law in 2019 in California, prohibiting discrimination based on hairstyle and hair texture. Two prominent Montrealers we spoke to hope to see it celebrated in Canada as well, as they claim discrimination is prevalent everywhere. The States is just down the street. It's not far. We, if I, my clients are the ones that are, you know, not, not sure about if they could go back to natural because they want to get that job or keep that job, are Canadian. They live in Canada. Business coach Fabienne Raphael says it wasn't until meeting her now hairdresser for close to a decade, Nancy Fales, that she started feeling comfortable with sporting natural hairstyles. She claims the pressure to apply products to strain her hair didn't just start when she entered the work field, but as soon as she enrolled in school. I think it has a lot to do with, you know, the pressure of your kid having nice hair too, right? Um, so I don't think I don't think my parents did it out of something they if they knew it was that bad, I don't think they would have done it. But a relaxer is actually probably one of the strongest chemicals that we use. It's stronger than any other chemical. It's the only chemical that could burn you permanently. I don't think parents mean to hurt their kids. I think it's just a matter of, you know, everyone doing it or again, like the, the whole stigma about what looks good, like good hair, bad hair, and all that stuff. A lot of it is misinformation, not enough information. And, you know, I think that a lot of parents give their children juice and all kinds of food that's not necessarily good for them. It doesn't make them bad parents, right? Even among friends, like if you didn't have your relaxer after like, I don't know, more than two, three months and your hair started to look kinky a little bit, your friend would tell you about it. The women say they would like to see less women feel pressured into the dangerous practice of using chemicals to straighten their hair and encourage both men and women to celebrate their natural locks. And that's why we're here. We need to bring change. And we have to also start from when they're young, telling our young girls, you know, that they're in their teens that the way your hair looks does not rank your your intelligence. There's no such thing as, you know, what looks professional with your hair. You style your hair as you wish, and we all have our natural hair in a sense, and we own who we are. And I feel that uh, this has also to do to owning our power, accepting ourselves as we are, and not wanting to be like everyone else expects us to be. Well, if you go back in history, the bigger their hair may said meant that you were in touch with the gods because you were closer to God. In Montreal, Sasha Obis, City News. In one